hey what's up guys how you doing it's ayo from Peratunes, and today we're gonna be making a pringles can in cinema 4d all right without further ado let's get right into it okay i am in the beautiful world of cinema 4d and yes you guessed it we are going to be starting this off with a cylinder and we're going to make it 45 by 300 all right so um now we make this editable and come to the polygon mode and we want to make some loop cuts and so that's kl and make sure you have symmetry checked on because we're cutting both sides um so now we just cut around here and that's it so now we come back and we want to make a loop selection and that's ul we select this and we go down and select this while holding shift select both parts so now we extrude that's mt and uh we just extrude this way probably 1.5 1.5 all right so we have that so now we want to just bevel and ms to bevel and we just um bevel a little bit this way all right so now we have our basic shape of the pringles can beautiful all right so now let's make the hole for the pringles where the pringles will stay and so we want to create this ul and um before we make the hole let's select this ones and let's um split because we're going to be making the cover of the pringles and so we are going to use um this to make the cover so let's split and let's hide that this for now because this is what we just created so let's hide that for now and let's work with this so now we select this one and we use this so now empty to extrude and make sure you don't have create caps checked on and we extrude downwards oops sorry we before we extrude we have to extrude inner so that's mw we extrude inner just a little bit now we can extrude mt and now you can come to your front view just to see what you're doing well and you could just drag this down we don't really um need any subdivision on the body so i guess we're good to go all right so now we have the ship here and i guess it's 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 beautiful it's beautiful all right so now um we can enable this and bring this up but now we notice the anchor point is not in the middle so we have to recenter that and um axis center point center execute so now we have the anchor points right in the center so we would make this a little bit bigger because we're making a cover and um now we select this um edge and then i think we want to oops sorry before we keep on moving sometimes um cinema for the objects just um you know um get unoptimized so we have to like merge everything together that's why you have to optimize so when you optimize it's um you know brings everything together so uh now you can scale this this way and it makes everything you know uniform so now we just want to make this here and then um okay let's say around here make another loop cuts um make sure you have um 
symmetry checked off so make another loop cut here and here um okay and probably here all right so now um we select everything no sorry we go to a uh, um polygon mode and select everything that's control a and mt now make sure you have create caps checked on then we can just hide this second this the body for now and let's work with this so now make sure you have create caps checked on this and now you can extrude and then you see it has a copy of the top polygons down so now um We want to select this ones UL select 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 and um, we are not going to be using this for the bottom so we can um, just merge everything together by coming here and clicking on melt so now what we do we extrude because we are going to create the hole and some empty and now make sure you do not have create curves checked on so when you extrude it creates that hole for you all right so now um if we add a subdivision surface to this it becomes very very weird because we have less subdivisions on the edges so now it just looks like um a weird pizza kind of looking maybe if you're going for a pizza look you could just tada you're done but that is not what we're looking for so let's um hide this for now and let's work on the subdivisions so now we are going to be making loop cuts because um the more the cuts the more the um segments the more defined it is when you add a subdivision surface so um kl so now we have to put this loop cuts at the edges you know so now we put here we put one here we put one here and uh we put one here we put another one here put one here and uh oops sorry um we're supposed to put another one here but just because i um made i melted the whole segments right there so that's the problem so but let's select this and uh right click and click on slide and so we can actually hold control and just slide it up so we have another segment right there all right cool um okay we need one more here so we can still select this ul then slide hold control slide here and slide oops sorry then ul again slide and slide here all right so now we have various um cuts on this and now when we um activate our subdivision it makes it look very much defined as we can see right now all right so um now we're just gonna make some weird you know weird looking um surfaces here um that's how the covers of the pringles are so um ul we select this ones um this one and this one and probably this one and now we um extrude empty so we extrude downwards just a little bit 
and um, now we want to select this one I think we're gonna extrude this one too downwards empty just a little bit I think we have an interference from this guy right here so we can select him and just bring him down a little bit all right so now we are going to put cuts here just as we did here to give it more definition so kl select um select here i'm um, cut here sorry we cut here we cut here okay we cut here too we cut here and I think we cut here cut here and we're good to go so now when we activate this we have this beautiful looking um cover all right so now uh i guess we're done with this for now and we can activate this and um drag this down and we have our pringles can all right so now we would um be adding a few adjustments um in the next part and i'll be texturing i'll be using octane to texture and render this so um please guys make sure you subscribe like and turn on post notifications to get some um, content so to see my content i'll be posting a lot right now because i actually just got a mic and this is going to be like my first um tutorial using my um mic so um please as i said like subscribe share with your friends and um don't stop making things and see you guys in the part two take care